going on guys? My name is Ghost Shadlock the Ball, but both Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News Room update from the Alton Towers Resort. Now this is on their season pass details and also their opening dates and times. Uh, now we don't have specific times, now there are specific times mentioned on the website, however, it's not actually mentioned in the calendar compared to the Thought Park website, so uh, I'm just going to be going through uh, just the, uh, the, the, date, the opening day of the season, the closing day of the season, specific fireworks dates, the Scarefest dates, they were in the Halloween update that we uploaded earlier today, so make sure you go check that out. Um, and basically, I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts on what they could be doing for the 40th anniversary, because there could be some more stuff that they'll be doing. So, this is going to be like a, a roundup of the dates and sort of thinking about what we're going to see next year. Now, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And now, let's get into the video. So, this is on, let's start with the opening time. So, this park opens on Saturday, the 21st of March. 2020 and it will close on the 8th of November. Now like I mentioned in the Scarefest video for their dates and times for next year, uh, the 6th to the 8th of November those are the three days for the fireworks. So again, it's another three-day firework event just like this year. The fireworks, I've seen the footage from them. I think, uh, obviously you have to be there to experience it and to fully embrace it, but from the footage I think this year's fireworks are better than last year, personally. Uh, I'm not going to go into specific details because I, I can't really say anything specific about them, even though I've seen the footage from them. But I do believe that they are better than, than last year. Just just by a smidgen, though, they were both equally good, but I think this year just tops it from last year. So they top themselves on the fireworks this year. And I think that next year, with it being the 40th anniversary of the park, I think the fireworks are going to get bigger and better than ever. So I think we're going to see a lot more from those firework displays uh, next year at the Alton Tower Resort. Now, of course, one of the big things going down uh, next year is the world of David Williams replacing Cloud Cookerland. I expect work to start in that area uh, very, very soon. I'm expecting some construction work to start taking place around that Carl Cookerland area to start re-theming some attractions. Obviously, it's opening in the spring, or it says to be opening in the spring, so we could see it open for the 21st of March for the opening day of the season. Uh, who knows? At this point, we haven't got a confirmed opening day, which you know it's going to be opening in spring, unless they delay it some time. Uh, we know that CBB's land, the other kids' area that was a re-theme of a an old area, the old McDonald's farmyard, if you only remember that. I remember going on the old tractor ride when I was a kid, and I remember seeing the, uh, do, um, I can't remember how to pronounce it now, Doodle Doo Farm, uh, Doodle Doo Derby, sorry. Uh, I remember the Ribena Berry Bish Bash, or just Berry Bish Bash, Riverbank Ice Spy, you know, the Singing Barn, you know, I remember all of that. And then when that got transformed into CBeebies Land, of course, that opened in May. So there may be an opportunity if they wanted to, they could delay the opening until May. So, and, and to be fair, that kind of works for me because I'm off uni at that point, so I don't have to uh, waste money on an opening weekend, if you know what I mean. But I would, if it's going to open on an opening weekend, I would like to try and get out there for the opening weekend of the season. So, uh, fingers crossed that all goes through. If not, I'll try and get out there for the summer like I always do. Um, so, it should be interesting. Now, we're going to tell you the season pass details for 2020. Now, you'll have, you've heard me talk about in the Scarefest update today about the uh, premium season pass and sort of the perks, the price. I'm going to recap that. But I'm also going to talk about the original season pass, the normal season pass. If you want, if you don't want to spend much money, if you don't want to spend that 75 quid on the premium season pass, you can spend it on the normal season pass. So I'm going to go through all those details right now. So let's have a look then at your standard season pass. So this is priced at £58 online. Uh, it's valid throughout the 2020 season. It will send you special offers and news straight to your door, to a town near you. <laughs> but be warned, this standard season pass is excluded, uh, excluding entry on the dates of the Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays in August, as well as Scarefest and the fireworks. So... If you're thinking about using the pass on a Friday, a Saturday, or a Sunday in August, or you're thinking about using the pass at Scarefest or Fireworks, don't bother. You won't be guaranteed entry. Uh, so I would use those passes on a different day. Obviously, the off-peak days that the park is closed, obviously you won't be able to use the pass on uh, and things like that because the park will be closed. But any other dates apart from them, you'll be all right. Now, of course, a bit of a recap for the premium season pass, uh, priced at £75. I think that's best value. I think that really is best value. I think it's, I believe, from what I remember from this year's price, it's a little bit more expensive than this year, but I think it's still best value. Uh, free standard car parking, so if you want to park your car, it's completely free. 
free. <laughs> it's valid throughout 2020, valid throughout the summer weekends and Scarefest, and I'm guessing the fireworks maybe as well. Guaranteed entry into the Alton Towers dungeon. Now that's a big one, because of course that was the new attraction for last year. Uh, well, technically this year, but of course when we get into the new season, it will be last year. Uh, <laughs> But I think the Alton Towers Dungeon was a great attraction. I think they did a really good job with that. So I think getting the premium season pass is worth it because it means you get guaranteed entry into the dungeon. And I think that's really important because it is a great attraction to experience. Many people out there still thinking it's going to be here for only a couple of years. Kind of like Nemesis Subterra was only here for a few years uh, at the park. So got to make the most of it while we can. I mean, I made the most of it when I went there for my first visit to the dungeon this year, uh, this year when it opened. Um, so, you know, getting in there for the summer, uh, for the for the June visit, uh, to, and it, of course, you know, my first review of the dungeon was on site, but that wasn't good enough, so I deleted it and sort of did a new Alton Towers dungeon review to talk about more about it. That was about 23 minutes long, so make sure you go check that review out, but I enjoyed it. I thought there was a few too many blank spots in some areas, but overall it was a great attraction, great new addition for this, for this year. Uh, and I'm excited for the new addition. Of course, there are rumours that David Williams could expand into that building uh, a couple of years or a few years down the line. But, you know, we've got to make the most of the dungeon while we can. So, there we go. So, that's the season pass details. That's the opening dates and times. So, I talked about. I can't wait for the new season to start next year. 21st of March, Saturday, opening weekend. Cannot wait. I might be down there. Might not be. Can't promise anything at this stage. But, I'll try my best to get down there. Thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from the Alton Towers Resort. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child, Kitten on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day, my friends.